Hey guys, it's Sarah and let's see, which video do I want to film first? I think I'm going to do this one. So today I'm going to be doing a review of The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I finished this book in January, closer to the end of January, and I felt like I needed to collect my thoughts a little bit before I did a full-blown review and the more I thought about it, the more I was like maybe I'll just do a series review when I'm finished with it or something along those lines but now that I'm halfway through The Well of Ascension, more than halfway through the second novel, I feel like it'll be a lot more useful for myself and for everyone else if I just go ahead and do two do reviews for all of them separately. That way I can keep them all straight in my mind. I just think it'll be a lot easier if I fi fair, 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 if I do all three books have their own separate reviews. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Today obviously I'm going to be reviewing the first one and since I'm in the middle of the Wall of Ascension, things have already progressed from this story so I right now have a better understanding of what's happening and what happened in this book and I have like, I just, it's hard to explain but all in all I feel like I am ready to go ahead and review this novel and without spoilers and feel like I am you know, making some sort of sense. This book has been going around on YouTube for a little bit. Right now a lot of people are saying that they're going to pick it up or they have picked it up or whatever the case may be. And a lot of people took the recommendations from recommendation from Prue's project and she also got it in these beautiful covers. I wish I could have said that mine was from, my recommendation was from Prue's project as well from Reagan, but I wasn't that lucky. Uh, me and my brother got into a deal that if I read his favorite book he would read my favorite book um, way before Christmas time. And that was kind of this was my kind of gr Christmas gift to him so he could reread the novels whenever he wanted and so I could read them and experience them for the first time so it was like an offhanded Christmas gift but that is where why I picked this novel up and I see that everybody is picking up now and I'm so excited because everything so much happens in this novel that I want to talk about it so if you have read it please please let's talk about it I don't care if we talk in the comments if you want to email me whatever the case may be I want to talk about this book 100% so just keep that in mind as I'm going through this review okay before I explain this book let's just take a moment and realize that I am the worst absolute worst person to ever give a synopsis of a book so I'm going to try my hardest not to give anything away which I know I won't and I also will try my hardest into giving you some sort of picture that this book is about like paint a picture in your mind about what this is about and it's going to be very simple and very short and to the point okay so let's just get into it this book is about Vin and she is a young girl and she's on a thieving crew and in this world that means that they kind of teeter between the lower class society and the higher class society. They're kind of this middle ground of they are lower class, class but they don't accept the fate that they have been given so they have taken to thieving and um, doing, you know, just normal rebellious things. She's part of that group. She's part of a thieving crew. She's been a part of them for a long time. She's been growing up in this world. And she gets in, she finds out that she is a misborn, and then she gets an offer to join this thieving crew, which really she's apprenticing under the leader of the thieving crew, but she's going to be a part of the thieving crew, and they, their goal in this novel is to overthrow the final empire. And the final empire is basically this empire that has been going on for thousands of years, or a thousand years, I can't remember, and it is under the rule of the Lord Ruler, and he is a... Um, immortal god basically. People of his world have deemed him a god and they follow his religion and his thoughts and his beliefs and anything that he says goes basically. And then they have, like I said, the lower class society which is called the ska and the higher class society which is called the nobility. And basically that's kind of the world that they live in. And being a mistborn means that you can control metals which is the type of uh, magic in this. I mean it's magic. It's magic but it's not magic. It's kind of magic. I mean it's it's too realistic to be magic. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of the magic within this novel or within this story. If you can control any metal then you are an Alamancer and if you can control all of the metals then you are a Mistborn. And being a Mistborn is probably is the most powerful thing that you can be in this world and people fear Mistborn and usually only nobility are 
Mistborn or Alamancers. And the only reason why Vin is a Mistborn is because her mom had an affair with the nobility and he gave her the powers of being the Alamancy powers. I said this was going to be short, but it's not. Basically, all you need to know is that this world is freaking amazing and people control metals and they're trying to overthrow. The whole point of this book is overthrowing the Empire and how they go about it. And it's very, very good, very interesting. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It's one of my all-time favorites now. I'm just going to deem it that, especially now that I'm on the second one. Oh my god. This series is so, so good. And this book itself is not overly fantasy. I mean it is. I mean it's a straight epic fantasy novel, but coming from someone who doesn't read a lot of fantasy, I had absolutely no problems following it. The wording was fine. Everything about the world building was easy. Nothing was long-winded. No long descriptions. Nothing... I was not bored once in this book. There was no point where I was bored, which doesn't happen usually in normal books, let alone a fantasy novel. So that was amazing. The world building, I just, it blew my mind on how perfectly it was built. Everything was done, I'm putting that down now, everything was done in a um, simplistic way and it flowed very easily and because our main character is Vin, I mean we are in a third, it is written in third person, but the main character is Vin. She's a young, naive, she's like 15 years old girl and she's just trying to learn how to um, she's not really, okay, well, she's trying, she's trying to learn a lot. There's a lot of growth for Ben in this book. But she is just kind of, how do, how do I, how am I going to explain this? This is the problem. It's so hard for me to make reviews about books that I love because I just end up gushing about them. Like, just go read it, go read it, go read it, go read it. That's all I want to tell you. Just go read it. Let me just give a few points. Number one, the world building was amazing. It was the most easy following world building plus the most rich world building I've ever read before. I just haven't, I don't have a lot of experience with fantasy and to me this, I don't know if anything will top this. So let's cross our fingers that it will, but that it won't at the same time. The characters were all amazing. I love every single character in this book. Not every single character, obviously, but all the characters that I'm supposed to love, I love them. I love the growth. I love the growth that the characters go through as a group and as individuals. Mostly Vin. I love her her journey through this book. It just is, she's just becoming a phenomenal character where before she was this scared little girl and now she's just, what happens to her, just everything that pans out is just amazing and I think that it just built so, so well. It has a certain medieval feel to it which I really enjoyed. So anyways, I love the characters and I love the character development and everything that goes along with it. It was amazing. I just absolutely loved it. Um, the medals were awesome. I think that the author did an amazing job with having Vin learning about being a Mistborn because you also get to learn with her. So you're never confused and if you have questions she usually has the same exact one and they get answered and everything just flows so well and it's just it's just phenomenal I'm just here to tell you that it's phenomenal I'm trying to think of anything else that you guys would want to know about this book I would recommend this book to anybody who likes a, an, an adventure I think that it it really is an adventure book it's all about the journey and I think that if you enjoy that you would enjoy this. When I first read Final Empire, I thought nothing could top that. I was like, no, I mean, I want to read the second one, but really what, what can happen? What really can they do that's going to be better than this book? And let me tell you, I was absolutely wrong. If you just read the first one just to read it, the second one is amazing, and everything is just, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just, I can't, I can't. So good, it's so amazing. And I don't know. If you guys have any questions about this, or if you're nervous about picking it up, or if you're excited to pick it up, let me know because I would definitely, definitely want to talk to you about this. Like I said in the beginning, I am down to talk to anybody who's read this book or anybody who wants to read this book. If you have read this book, whatever the case may be, just let me know down below and I'll answer your questions. I just am here to tell you right now that I loved this story and I thought it was so good. The characters were great. The story was great, the ending was great, everything about it was just really, really good, and I just really liked it. I highly recommend, even if you don't like fantasy, because trust me, I didn't think I liked fantasy. I'm more of a paranormal romance girl, and I have absolutely no problems with this book. Absolutely none. Like, there's none in my head. Okay, well, there's that, there is one point, one thing that happened, but we do not speak of that, and we're not going to speak of that, because number one, it's a spoiler, and number two, my heart has not healed yet. So, we're not even going to speak of that, but... Everything else, 
we can talk about. So, <laughs> alright. I'm done gushing. I hope this interview, this interview? Really? I hope this review was informative and let you see kind of my thoughts on this book. It really didn't. I know it didn't. It's probably a pointless, pointless review, but I'm gonna put it up anyway. I really just enjoyed it and I highly recommend it and I don't think that I'll find a book that I, or a series that I enjoy as much as this series. I can already see all of the things that I expect in a book just my expectations are just slowly getting higher and higher and I don't think that I will be able to find something as good as this but never say never. No, I'm not quoting Justin Bieber, that's just a common saying. That's it for my review. Just let me know down below if you want to talk about this book, if you want to pick it up, if you're going to pick it up, if you have it and you want to read it, if you just love fantasy, just let me know. Let's just talk. I just want to talk. That's I'm opening this book. This, this video is just opening it up for discussion. Okay, so anyways, I'm going now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. I hope you pick up the final empire because it's amazing. I'm going now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I just put my peace sign up. I found the funniest, funniest pictures of me when I was in middle school. They're pretty funny. Okay, I'll show you one embarrassing one. That's it. Okay, bye.